Your Excellency, thank you very much for accepting our exclusive interview on CGTN. Thank you very much. At the uh, start of this year, Chinese State Council and Foreign Minister Qin Gang visited uh, Africa and uh, Ethiopia was his uh, first stop. You met him again on May the 25th, Africa Day. I learned that during your meeting with him, you said bilateral ties have withstood the test of time and moved from strength to strength. Would you please describe the current status of bilateral relations? Ethiopia and China, we enjoy a long-standing relations and long-standing ties. In 1970s, diplomatic relations started and gradually becoming more consolidated and getting more strong. His visit is really very timely to enhance our bilateral relations. And then I'm visiting China to keep the momentum to address different outstanding issues for the strong engagement between the two countries. Do you think bilateral ties is solid enough? Current relationship between Ethiopia and China is really getting more strong. We focus on economic, political, and social areas. Based on that, bilateral relations is becoming more strong and more functional. Right, apart from being in the free trade agreement, Ethiopia is also in the framework of uh, the BRI, the Belt and Road Initiative. So tell us more about Ethiopia's uh, participation in BRI and how is the country benefited from that mechanism? The BRI is really crucial to expedite the connectivity process, the economic uh, integration mechanisms and the like. Ethiopia is also very keen and committed to connect within this Belt and Road Initiative mechanism. For example, some new emerging infrastructure development programs, the railway network from Addis to Djibouti and other regional projects are very important to implement the broad, the Belt and Road Initiative that would be a good infrastructure, a good connectivity model to enhance our economic cooperation and to diversify our engagement within this initiative uh, framework. And how do you think the BRI mechanism can better align with the, the long-term strategic goals or plans of Ethiopia? When we talk about partnership with China, mean is inclusive, as comprehensive, strategic, and cooperative. And this is a very uh, holistic bilateral mechanism a good, and also a good foundation for multilateral role across the globe. In this regard, cooperation is important and very critical for us. That's why all these initiatives, be it BRI and others are more or less in line with our national economic development policy and other different infrastructure programs. And beyond Ethiopia, these initiatives and cooperative tools are in line with the African mechanisms like African continental free trade mechanisms. A huge opportunity for us to strengthen and diversify these mechanisms as a whole. What about the peace process? A special event was held in Addis Ababa recently, a recognition event on which um, one of China's uh, diplomats, Xue Bing, was awarded with recognition certificate for his contribution in the peace process in Ethiopia. So how do you evaluate China's support or help in the peace process in your country? That's really a big achievement and a milestone. Before that, the time was very challenging with internal conflicts and creates a huge damage. This is very historic engagement led by the African Union mean. Africans who have a basic and workable principle, African solutions to African problems. The two parties engagement in that peace process was very crucial and critical. The Chinese government role 
during these challenging times was so reasonable. Second, supportive in the humanitarian aid process and on other activities. The envoy during that time played very uh, reasonable and constructive engagement in that peace process. To all envoys from different countries and to all peace actors, we recognized. And that was a very uh, special time, a closure program to recognize all actors. I mean, not simply recognizing them, but that gives another opportunity to consolidate the peace process and to encourage other similar problems in the upcoming times also. After mentioning so many current developments of China-Ethiopia relations, how do you see the long-term development of bilateral ties? How do we envision the future ties? The future is also bright. Bilateral relations becoming a strategic level and there are lots of opportunities, huge potentials to be implemented between two countries. The previous experience based on win-win principle uh, and the existing bilateral relations it is very dependable, mm -hmm. friendly. This is really a good foundation for the upcoming movement to continue strong cooperation between the two countries. China and Ethiopia has been enjoying a benign relations. Standing at the bigger picture of China-Africa relations, how do you see the basis and potential of this relationship? China-Africa relations. Today, Africa means rising continent, a uh, huge potential. There are many emerging economies. Look, the Chinese experience, how China is managed for the last few decades. Strong relations between China and Africa mean this is a practical demonstration and practical South-South cooperation between developing economies. Based on this win-win principles, based on the comprehensive approach with a strategic level engagement, it is high time relations between China and Africa. That really gives another opportunity to influence the whole globe on uh, cooperation mechanism. Like the instruments, the FOCAC mechanism and the Belt and Road initiatives and other mechanisms also instrumental to strengthen this uh, for collective engagement, for political dialogue and for economic cooperations and the like. Then what role do you think China-Ethiopia relations play in the broader China-Africa relations? China-Ethiopia ties as a model. Today in Ethiopia, we are managing huge economy, emerging economy. Look, within this few years, the Ethiopia economy is becoming the third economy in sub-Saharan countries. Look at the future. Still we have that huge potential. A relationship between China and Ethiopia, the tie between the two countries mean you can't confine that bilateral relations. That's beyond the two countries and really a role model and a good showcase for other emerging economies in Africa also. Yes, indeed, we all want to see a more stable, peaceful and more prosperous African continent. Then how do you think Africa can have a bigger say or play a bigger role in global affairs? Peaceful and prosperous society in Africa today is really a very fundamental issue. In this regard, the Africans with huge opportunity, perhaps with different challenges also. So Africans has to focus on development issues, on peace and they have to focus on how to improve governance and malpractices and the like. These are the crucial agenda. Within the global framework, this rising continent has to be more strong, consolidated and has to uh, be strong enough mm. for inclusive development program, mm. deepening democratization process modernizing the whole societal demands and the like. That is very timely and it's a crucial agenda.
to all African leaders and development partners.